Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, I think we're going to do a random ranking today. We're going to go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies from most favorites to least favorite. I'll rank them here in the video, but if you like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. Let's get to picking some movies. All right, let's do um, let's do this one. Ooh, wait a second. That one feels a little familiar. Maybe, I don't know, this one? Slip cover? Oh, wait. I can't do that one. I gotta pick four. Let's do this. Let's do one down here. How many do I got? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Now, one of them I knew I couldn't do because it had a little sticky tab on it because I haven't seen it, burlesque. And I think I've pulled that one before, so I need to really work on the areas that I'm pulling because I'm pulling uh, movies uh, multiple times, and I got a lot of movies up here, so I need to find a way to, I don't know, just like be a little bit more cognizant of the places where I've already chosen films. Okay, here we go. Man, my desk here is crowded. So first off, we have Robin Hood. This is with Errol Flynn. Um, the, this is funny because the back here, so I, I've seen this in color. I believe it was always in color. Had, had to have been. Um, but anyway, the back here looks like, you know, as if the movie was presented in black and white. And then I'm always like, wait a second. Did I watch like a colorized version or was it always presented that way? Um, but I believe it was always in color. But anyway, um, let's see. I, I first saw this in college, one of my film classes. Uh, this was some of the homework. I'm trying to remember like why. I think it was like adventure and swashbuckling genre or something like that um, that we were covering. Gosh, I can't really remember what the topic was, but we had to watch this. That was my first time seeing it, and I really enjoyed it. To me, Robin Hood was the Disney animated film and the Kevin Costner movie. And there are, you know, lots and lots of Robin Hoods. But uh, I did I did like this one, but I think the my favorite one will probably always be the Kevin Costner film, just because that's the one... I grew up with and watched the most. Also grew up with, but more in my early, early years, like when I was very little, the Disney version, but like the one that I consistently grew up with, like from buying it and then having it on VHS and watching it over and over again was the Kevin Costner one, um, where I never owned the animated one until, you know, I was a grown adult. Prior, it was always a video rental. But yeah, I like this. Um, I'm trying to think of like, I, I remember Scarlet was always wearing red and that really popped out to me, um, where in the Kevin Costner version, um, old uh, Christian Slater was not wearing red, or maybe he was, I don't know, but not to the degree that it's happening in this movie. The color really stood out. All right, next we have... Whoopsh, the Hours, where Nicole Kidman won an Oscar. Uh, she's wearing a nose prosthetic there. Some people say that's what did it. That's how she got that that win. Um, and who knows? Gosh, this movie is a downer. This movie is a downer. Like, it's got a lot of sadness to it if you're watching it. I believe the score is beautiful, though. Um... It's kind of been a while since I watched it. Not too long, like maybe a year or two, but it is a good one. It kind of took a while to grow on me because this is one of my wife's favorites and, you know, we would watch it together, but it kind of took multiple viewings for me to really lock into it and really like appreciate the movie and want to, um, you know, give it my, my full attention maybe. I don't know, but... I like it, some great performances in it, um, and very sad in a lot of ways. I'm trying to remember, there's like a, there's a great like food scene with Meryl Streep in it, but it's not coming 
to mind fully right now. She's like cracking eggs. Oh yeah. The way she, she's cracking eggs and separating whites and yolks and she does it like with her fingers. That's how she separates the eggs. I think there's more to that too, but I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen it. Next we have Forces of Nature. Check it out. Here we have Sandra Bullock and Ben Affleck together. Uh, this one is, I don't know, it's all right, but there's I, there's a lot of wind happening in it. It's called Forces of Nature, but if I remember right, I think there are moments, see, I get this mixed up with um, Serendipity, because Serendipity has like these weird moments where they show the city with like a shaky cam and slow motion shaky cam or something like that and it looks weird and I believe this movie does it too but then sometimes I'm wondering wait is it only this movie and it's not in serendipity but I think it is in serendipity also but I don't know there are these like cutaway scenes that sort of like um functioning as a way to sort of point out the end of a scene and the beginning of a new one, you know, just like tossed in there to give a, the, us the cue that, hey, some time is passing. And I don't know, they just kind of seem noisy and dated and strange today. All right, so how are we going to rank these? Um, I think I know. I think I know. I'm going to go ahead and put Forces of Nature at the end. And I think... I don't know. I kind of want to put Robin Hood number one just because the genre right now is some. I, I just would rather watch it. Like, The Hours, I think, is a great movie. Um, very affecting. Uh, it works, like, emotionally. It's very, like, oh, gosh. But, I don't know. Right now, I kind of want to watch this Robin Hood. I'd, I, I'd want to watch any Robin Hood, except for maybe the Russell Crowe one. That one really didn't appeal to me, but I don't know. I'm just kind of in the mood to watch a Robin Hood film right now. So I'm going to say Robin Hood number one, and then The Hours, which is also a great film, and on some days it would be number two out of this group. So even out of this specific three, The Hours on a different day, maybe even a different hour, would be number one. But I'm going to go Robin Hood, The Adventures of Robin Hood number one, then The Hours, and then Forces of Nature at the end. I would like to rewatch Forces of Nature, though. Because I think I've only seen it maybe once or twice. Um, but, yeah. that's what, This is what I'm doing. But my question to you is, have you seen these films? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.